All right, hello guys, how's it going? In today's video, we're gonna be talking about how much snowfall you could expect this upcoming winter based on your annual average snowfall. Anyways, before we get into the video, be sure to smash that like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe for more weather-related content for today's comment of the day I want to know. How much snowfall do you expect this upcoming winter, in your opinion, and do you think you'll have above average snowfall or below average snowfall? Let me know in the comments down below, and I'll be picking one of those for tomorrow's video. Let's get straight into this video, and first things first, our first layer. This is your will see snow layer. So if you're in the white region, on average, you will see snowfall. If you're in that gray remaining region, on average, you do not see snowfall. This does not mean you 100% will not see snowfall. It just means that on average, you typically will not, okay? So if you do see snowfall, you're kind of outside of your normal at that point, if you're in that gray region. But if you're in the white region, you do expect snowfall. Anyway, let's add our second layer here. This is our above three inches layer. That means that the remaining white region is the below one inch to three inch amount region there. So if you're in that white region, you expect something under three inches of snowfall, but you do expect snowfall. But the remaining baby blue region right there, that is where you expect above three inches of snowfall. And I would say that's about 75% or more of the country at this point. Super, super interesting stuff, guys. Now let's go ahead and add another region. And this is our six inches plus region, which means the remaining light blue region is where you expect to typically see three to six inches of snowfall. Unfortunately for me, I am in this three to six inch snowfall region. I wish I got more, but I do not. So I'm with a lot of you that do not see a ton of snowfall. Um, I'm right here with you guys hoping for snowfall every year. It does not happen every year here. So that just goes to show that things can happen a lot outside of your average. I'm in the three to six inch region. And I would say once every three years, we don't see really anything, maybe flakes, but nothing much. So it does vary a lot, but some years we see like 12. So that's how you get your average of about six. You get none sometimes, and then you get 12 sometimes, and it kind of just averages out around six. That's how these averages work, unfortunately. It'd be a lot easier if it just was exactly how much your average is every single year, because then you'd know what to expect. But it can be well, without, out, it can be well outside of your average, but still um, end up after a 10-year period coming back to your average anyway. All right. Now this darker blue again, above six inches of snowfall, and this is definitely 60 to 75% of the country at this point that sees above six inches of snowfall, which is also super interesting. We still have areas like Richmond, Virginia in there, uh, Nashville in there, pretty much most of the major cities in the United States. Actually, I don't know why I'm naming some off. So in a moment, what we're gonna do is move on and take a look at the above 10 inches region that will also reveal our six to 10 inch region. Uh, and then we're getting into the above 15 inch region, above 20 inch region, above 30 inch region, and so on and so forth. All right, now here we are taking a look at that above 10 inches region here. Uh, that reveals our six to 10 inch region there, which is including Oklahoma City. We see Nashville. There, we see Raleigh in there as well. Uh, let's see if there's any other bigger cities in there. I don't think so. Uh, maybe Seattle could be included in there, but they might be in the three to six. I'm not quite sure. Northwest climatology is a little bit um, less of my expertise because of the elevation. It is so like knowledge based on the geography of the region. It's so interesting. So we have our remaining 10 inch plus region here. Let's go ahead and add another layer. And this is our above 15 inches region. This reveals our 10 to 15 inch region there. As you can see, uh, which hardly has any major cities in it. Richmond, Virginia is in there, but that's actually about it for those major cities within the 10 to 15 inch region. But our above 15 inch region does include some of the most major cities in the United States, including Chicago, uh, we see Philadelphia, New York, Boston, Cleveland, uh, Denver in there, Minneapolis, of course. They're not very close <laughs> to seeing um, their end anytime soon. We're going to have a couple frames until we see where they're going to get. Um, but yeah, we have multiple major cities still in here in the play here. Now, this reveals our 20-inch region, above 20 inches region, and that reveals therefore our 15 to 20 inch region. Um, 
which again, I, I guess we have some major cities in there. St. Louis in there, Kansas City, um, DC is in there as well, narrowly in there. <laughs> but this is our above 20 inch region here in the pink. Uh, this is a good time for me to remind you guys that this is a very low resolution hand drawn map of your average snowfall. And if your area is very ev uh, elevation, I almost said evolution based, elevation based, uh, it is going to pretty much differ. It's going to differ. I mean, if you're on a hill and there's a valley right next to you, I mean, there's going to be a big difference between you and that valley on your average. So uh, this is a good time to remind you guys that this mostly works best for people on flat land. Um, and this is only a hand-drawn map. So I only did the best I could. If I could make a map that includes every single little elevation change in the entire United States, I would gladly do that. But that would be absolutely impossible for somebody like me to do with within a year's time frame. Um, let's reveal our above 30 inch region now. Um, and this still re reveals, you could see um, areas like Chicago, Cleveland are in there, Boston, Denver, obviously in there. So we have a lot of major cities still in here, Minneapolis. Um, so uh, Detroit as well, it's still in that above 30 inch region. Uh, but we can see now our 20 to 30 inch region, which has Columbus, um, Indianapolis there as well. Let's see, Philadelphia might be in there as well. Areas like that, New York City, um, areas south of Boston. But now we have our above 30 inch region. Well, this is a good time to reveal our final layer here, the above 48 inch region. And this is a region that is exclusive for mountaintops. And last year when I did this video, I said, you know, hardly anybody lives there. It offended a few people because they're like, I live there. It was all in good fun though. Obviously they didn't get too offended. They just were making a joke about it. Uh, so now I recognize that there is quite a few people that will be watching this video that live in the above 48 inch region in the Rockies uh, and areas like that. So for you guys, it depends on your elevation. A lot of these areas average a lot more than 48 inches. Let me put it that way. And some of you average right around 48 inches. So it's going to vary a lot in there. This reveals our 30 to 48 inch region though, which has Chicago, Cleveland, Boston in there as well. Minneapolis remains in here. Um, so that is where we're at right now. But the above 48 inch region is our final layer here. So what we're going to do in a moment is remind you guys of our winter snowfall chance forecast real quick so you could tell, maybe compared to normal, what, what this could look like. Now we start things out with our below average snowfall chance in the southwest. Keep in mind this is snowfall chance. Everybody technically has a chance of snowfall. Um, you know, even the Florida Keys and the Bahamas have a, a chance of snowfall. Technically it's very, very slim, but there is a chance. Um, and there's stories of the 70s, Bahamas getting snowfall. My grandma lived in Florida uh, in the 70s, and she also saw snowfall in Fort Lauderdale as well. So the 70s were an interesting time, but that just proves that it is technically possible. That's why everybody's included on this map based on precipitation and temperature expectations. So below average snowfall chance for the southwest. We do have above average snowfall chance here for the northwest. I expect above normal precipitation, below normal temperatures, and that equals above normal snowfall chance. In the eastern United States, it's the same thing. Above normal precipitation, below normal temperatures, above normal snow, uh, snowfall chance, therefore, basically. And we do have a second layer of that as well, actually, here in the darker blue, where I'm even more confident because of further below normal temperatures and further above normal precipitation. That leads to me being more confident in the above average snowfall here in the eastern regions of the United States. Anyway, for today's confidence tab, we were only talking about averages today, so my confidence is a six out of six because I'm confident in the averages. Uh, you're, you're not gonna get exactly your average, but I am confident that that is your averages. <laughs> so for today's comment of the day, I asked you guys about our tropical disturbance in the Atlantic because we do have one of those, and it was expected to develop pretty fast, but now, yesterday it was a tropical depression, uh, last night, it became a tropical storm, and today it's Hurricane Sam. So we've seen this rapid development with this one, and this comment was just great. Uh, it's Mr. Lover, and they said, it's tropical storm now, hurricane by tomorrow, and sure enough, I woke up, and it's a hurricane. So good comment of the day there. For today's patron highlight of the day, I want to thank you all for supporting the channel, but especially our platinum patrons. 
John Van Benick, James Wade, Dovey Nagel, Little Depan, and Donna Carnes, alongside our Diamond patrons, Bill Roberts, Marcus Connolly, Noah Harley, Michael Kudalasa, Catfight, Charles Stinnett, Cindy Klein, Mark J, Luke Slego, Gary's, John Colisi, Dwight Phelan, and Stephen Crenenthal. If you'd like to be a part of this very exciting patrons for the day, you can do so by joining our very amazing Patreon page in the description and in the pinned comments down below. I'd also like to thank our channel members, Hair Farms 1, Catfight, Stephen Fan, and Jeremy Cox as well. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to smash that like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe for more weather-related content. I'll see you guys in the next video.